So someone submitted this question, which is, can I have ICL surgery if I have a history of having a retinal detachment? And the answer to that question is yes, but probably with the blessing of a retinal specialist beforehand to make sure there's no other areas of weakness on the retina that they may want to do a little treatment with laser or other forms of retinal surgeries to make sure that there's no issues immediately after ICL surgery. So why does someone who has a history of retinal detachment, why would they even seek ICL surgery in the first place? Well, patients who are very nearsighted, whose prescription starts with a minus sign, they tend to be that nearsighted because the front of the eye, the cornea is either steeper than average or their eyeballs are longer than average, or sometimes it's a combination of both of those things. And eyes that are longer than average, the retina in the back part of the eye gets put on stretch and it is prone to developing holes or tears or breaks in patients who are very, very nearsighted, regardless of whether they have any eye surgery or not in their life, they are at a higher lifetime incidence or a higher lifetime risk of experiencing a retinal tear break or detachment. So if someone has already had an experience with retinal detachment and they're very nearsighted, it makes sense why they wouldn't necessarily be a candidate for LASIK or PRK or SMILE because their prescription is just way too high to have any of those forms of vision correction. But to an ICL that can create up to minus 16 or minus 18, um, you know, a prescription that's very, very high and outside the bounds of normal correction with laser vision correction, it's typically not an issue. That being said, if someone's eyes have already shown us that they're prone to developing a retinal detachment, we wanna make sure they see a retinal specialist beforehand to get the blessing from the retina specialist. And if the retina specialist says, hey, it's too risky, we're not gonna do surgery. Now, typically that's not something that takes place because retinal tears or holes um, that are not causing any issues that are kind of just existing in the back part of the eye, those are often either observable or treatable, but the last thing we wanna do is take any risks when it comes to elective surgery that could be mitigated or prevented beforehand.